cookies bake at 375. Ugh, there's gotta be a better way. I need to fix this. Alright, let's get with the busy. First things first, I gotta set up my shop. Now, if you're curious about anything you see me using, I probably have a video on it. So feel free to peruse my channel for what you need. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a future video. I'm gonna need to cut a board to length that'll give me all the boards that I'm gonna need for this project later on, so... Let's get her done. My thickness planer can take care of that twist you just saw in the board, and yes, I have a video showing my technique for doing that. Here you go. That twist in the board is also the reason I didn't just start cutting all my pieces to length first. Once that's taken care of, and the thickness is the same all along the board, I can cut the pieces I'll need for the project to final length according to my cut list. But Stan, where's the cut list at? Dude. Well glad you asked, it's on my website, simplyeasydiy.com. And you don't even need to print anything out, because I know that was your next question. Just pull it up on your smartphone or tablet, take it with you, right out to the shop. I couldn't have made it any more simple, or easy. So after pulling up my cut list on my smartphone, it's time to chop chop. A mark here, and a line over there. Those boards that have been cut to length now need to be ripped to width. The table saw makes short work of that. Recheck the widths on simplyeasydiy.com just to make sure I'm good to go. Now here are my three main pieces. And then these get cut down even further and glued together to provide my connector pieces. Now, I'm gonna use simple butt joints to assemble this, but there are a myriad of joints that could be used. If you're not comfortable with the strength of a butt joint because you plan on doing chin-ups or some other thing, your business, then you can simply add quarter inch dowels to wherever it is that you see fit. I am going to use butt joints just to keep the project on an absolute beginner level. If you want to get more complicated with it, then obviously you'll know how to do that yourself. I mean, my channel isn't called Complicated and Difficult DIY, now is it? Pretty self explanatory, huh? glue and clamps. I built one of these years ago like this because I wanted to see if it would hold up to everyday use and I'll show that to you in just a little bit. Now the top front piece, after all the glue is dry and you want to add some dowels either for strength or visual appeal, feel free. Then a good sanding is in order to take off any knuckle scraping edges. After a few countersunk holes for mounting our new cabinet door storage unit and one final sand on the belt sander. It's time for some mounting. Obviously, you can stain and protect your new storage shelf any way you feel fit. I'll leave that up to you. Oh, by the way, here is the other cabinet unit I built years ago. Still going strong. Hey, thanks for watching. If you'd like more info on this project or a whole slew of other projects, you can visit my website, simplyeasydiy.com. Don't forget to subscribe. You're going to like it. You're going to have a lot of fun. Smash the thumbs up or thumbs down button. And until then.